Hello everyone, I'm the T. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. God, we're at level 72. That's that's a big number. Um So we got a couple things to do today. Let me move my mic real quick. There we go. First, we'll have it on my mind, actually, because I just thought about it. We haven't checked in the clock tower in a while. Let's go do that real quick. But basically, there are two, like, big enemies that have synthesis items that we're going to focus on today. And I think if we get through them all relatively quickly, next week we might be going to the final area. We're not going to complete the final area, but... Okay, we have... Wait... It's at the hour. It's the hour hand, right? So yeah, we have. Yeah. Either way, we're not correct. I think we are many hours over. We we still have several hours to go before we get another item, or not. Oh no. Okay, one that's really good. But so the reason I was confused is because actually, the hour hand is still on the previous hour. Wait, that's not the right hand. That clock's broken. Yeah, see? The 3 o'clock one is now lit up, because it was still... It's it's not hit 4 yet. That's good. We, we missed 1 and 2, though, but... And then we're now many hours away before we get any other items. But I think that's mostly what we needed. The Mithra shot is, is kind of important, but... Yeah. Where's the thing? There we go. I'm playing this game for 40 hours. I guess, yeah, I guess this is a game of this era where they wanted them to be that long. And we're actually going to go to Neverland, the deck. I, I'm, I'm not, I haven't really prepared for this. I don't know what to expect with this enemy, but I think we want the cabin. And let's see what we all have ability-wise. Is Treasure Magnet still on? I don't think it no, Treasure Magnet would not be on. Okay. Uh, right, Lucky Strike. We also definitely need Lucky Strike, so... What are we getting rid of? Gravity Break seems neat. I want to keep it around. Five. No. Yeah. Not Ragnarok. Let's get rid of Ragnarok. Okay. So then, Lucky Strike. Anything else I want to throw on here? Not really guard. MP Haste. Okay. And so... That's probably good. That's good. Eh, cheers. Kind of whatever. Uh... Yeah, we need to get rid of something that's for three, though. Hmm. Tunnel doesn't have that many abilities to begin with. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's the uh, leaf bracer seems important, but. Actually, is there anything for one that I can get rid of? No. Yeah, that's really fine. Oh, he still has Lucky Strike. Okay. Is it worth bringing Peter Pan in? Probably not. Yeah, no. <sighs> oh, and then, uh, probably focus on equipment that boosts MP. Yeah, it was keepers good. Reduce the strength is not great, though.
Y'all are fine. Okay, so to the deck. Yeah, we gotta beat these boogers up. Hey, it's the deck. Okay, but this is not the right encounter. So we leave. That's him. Okay, so I should have changed my. Ma oh, well, no, I should have changed my magic. Okay, but we want to cast stop on it. And yeah, just go to town. All oh, right, we can fly. Wait, hey. Okay, did the item it drops fall in the water, or did we not kill it fast enough? Cool. Well, you also need to check something here. Did I get... No, wait, where's the... I think I got the thing that's up here already, yeah. Looks like it. But there's also a white trinity at the... Where the... Steering wheel is? Or did I get that already? If so, then I'm not sure which white trinities I'm missing, but I am missing some. Hmm. Okay. The deal with that enemy we just fought, which is called the Jet Balloon, is that it's... Something about money. If, if we get hit by it, we will drop a lot of money, and it disappears sooner. It, like, it leaves if we don't have enough money. But I think we have a pretty good amount of money banked up just from not spending it. So... Yeah, let me check something else real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Arts guide. Enemies. Jets balloon. Yeah, it says it'll always drop one dazzling zone upon defeat, but I don't think it did. So maybe it fell in the water and, and despawned? Oh, okay. I wonder when these, why these guys didn't spawn. Probably not a good place to farm these guys, if I need to. I think a power gem might be... No, is that not... I don't know if that's what we need or not. Let me check. Well, leaving this. Ah, uh, to do... No, loose Dark Brawls drop Lucid Crystals is what we need. Okay. So yeah. I'm afraid this episode's probably not going to be a real barn burner, as I'm just going to be grinding this thing until I get a bunch of stuff from it, but... That's not the right spell. No, hey, stop. I should add stop to my shortcut menu. Uh. Nope. That's probably why I want arrow, huh? Because if not, those things would be knocking money out of me. Oh yeah, it's not staying stopped. Oh, that's not good. I'm out of MP. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, this is bad. Um, what if I just reload my save? Yeah, I think I should reload my save. It would take me too long to die to this, so I think I'm just going to go back there and, like, main menu it, so I don't have to alt F4 and wait for that. Yeah, we, we saved after we did that other thing. Oh, this just alt F4 is it, huh? Like, I'm on a spinning... Is this going to take me back to, like, the other launcher, probably? No? Okay, it just comes back in. Oh, 
Okay, so let's actually customize stop. Yeah, I wonder why I'm not freezing it. Is there any more MP I can be having? No. Lady Luck, I guess? Not you guys. Defense. Okay, now I should use the shortcut menu. Thought I saw an item there, but it. Hmm. I'm so confused. I just want to go down to the bottom to see like if it's on the surface of the water or no. Okay. Yeah, I might need to try to kill it over the ship then. Cause yeah, what's the item called that I want? It is. Boop boop. boop. Dazzling stone. And I don't think I have one. Energy stone? Yeah, no, okay. It's funny how, like, when I first started this Let's Play, I was like, oh, it's gonna be like anything where, like, I watch a Disney movie each week and then talk about it, and then that was, like, the first half of it, and, like, the second half has been so much longer, and, like, just weird grinding. Like, it's not that I dislike it, I just wish that I knew that what that was going in so I could have prepared more time to think about stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm fine, I'm okay. Still, those boogers haven't dropped anything. Arrow. Wind. Stop. Wind. Well, I need to... No, get over the... Pl Stop. Close enough. Stop. No, not close enough. Hey, come over here, buddy. I'm over here now. Stop. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, there's that chest I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, where you come? All right, so just five more Dazzle dazzling stones to go. What what excitement? I think it helps that I'm now that I'm so leveled that they're they're not really a threat to me anymore, which is good, I guess, but a little underwhelming maybe. I don't like how they don't stay stopped, but that's, yeah. Like, if someone yelled stop at you, you would stop for more than that time. Well, no, maybe it's exactly that amount of time is how long you would say stop for. I saw it. Okay, it's, it's, it's like, okay, yeah, there it is. There we go. Okay. So it's it's supposed to drop a deathling stone every single time and has a chance to drop a second one, but it dropping one every single time means that it's not going to be that much of a random slog. Come on. 
Uh, power jam is not what I want. Dessa too. Yeah. Remember this? Why is this? Hmm. You know what movie I did acquire but didn't watch for this is the, like, the Winnie the Pooh, like, compilation movie that came out in, like, the 70s, I want to say. Oh, Lucid Crystals, actually, that's what we want. Like, it's just a compilation of the, the Winnie the Pooh shorts that everyone knows. I remember watching that movie a lot as a kid. Like, the Huffalump, Heffalumps and Woozles. And, yeah. Good shit. There, there's been a thing I've seen like on in, in the news. Disney has been in the news lately um, about something where like someone died at a Disney theme park and Disney's tried to, tried to use the fact that their partner had a Disney Plus subscription as a reason that they can't sue, that they can only go through arbitration, because there's a clause in the Disney Plus contract that says you can only resolve things through arbitration, which is like there's no way that's going to stand up in court but like, holy shit, that they, they would even try that is really embarrassing and like, just kind of makes Disney look more evil than it already is but that's good. Um, yeah. Like, it's the kind of thing where I have to go, like, there is a separation between the CEOs and the creatives, even though that's not, like, a way to justify it, I guess. Or, like, not justify it, but, like, write it off entirely. Like, there is bad corpor corporation stuff in, like, that still affects the, the, the film. So it's, it's always like view everything with a not grain of salt. Um, critical lens. But yeah. Alright, we have seven deadling zones, so that is complete. We no longer have to mess with jet balloons. We already got white trinity apparently. Okay, so here's something else I probably missed. Um, I didn't count correctly, so we have to get one more frost gem, I think. Let me make, let me look at the count. Yeah, we need five apparently, so I missed one. So we need to go to Atlantica to do that real quick. But yeah, it's complicated. It's kind of like um, with Marvel, like there have been so many people who have made cool stuff with at Marvel and like made, oh, you guys are here. Like so many important stories. And like, there's also like editorial at Marvel has fucked over so many of those creators, but that doesn't, wait, I thought it saw something I'm trying to control. Okay, I forgot how to control this. Okay, that's okay, that's a, no, if I double tap, that's a dash, but. No, is there no item here? Maybe I just imagined it. All right. Um, I lost my train of thought, but basically like, it's still worthwhile to like read Marvel stories and enjoy Marvel characters and stuff, 
even though many of the creators who made those things get, got fucked over at some point, but... I don't know. Sorry, I'm getting, trying to get used to the swimming controls again and like fighting in swimming mode, which is... It's weird to be fighting these guys in swimming mode. Oh, you know what I think I saw that last time that thought was an item was Goofy's shield. Just at a weird angle. Oh, hey, there's... no, nah, that looks like a blue item. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Times are bad. Every, everything is, is bad, kinda. Okay. I don't know where... the thing I want to fight is. Oh, I was like, I was like oh, I need to power bomb that. No. Ah, uh, no, I think it is this guy that I need to fight. Which is weird, because this looks just like the fire we were just fighting, the jet buffer. Wait, no, we need to fight the big jellyfish. These are not the right guys. They're called sheltering zones. I remember them being up here, I think. Yeah. And they got friends now. And I think these little ones also have a chance to drop them, so... I'm not trying to double tap, I was switching from high to low. You're not one of them. I don't care, you're fun to fight. Big fishy. Okay, I saw... Donald's wand. I thought it was an item. Is that something? Brush him! Okay, we're good. And now the last thing I think to do is I need to double check if we got the White Trinity here, which I don't think we did. Hmm. No, okay, no, we did not. Okay, so let's kill clear the enemies out first and then we can get it. enemies. And it's charging this stuff instead. Oh, there he is. That's a blue item. Okay, we done? We done. Busy hydrating. Or calcum, yay. Alright, let's get out of here. If I remember how to get back there, it might just be easier to go to this. Well, wait, where is. If I go to the area with the currents, it'll take me to. Or maybe if I go down here, this might take me to where.
Nope. No lucid crystal or whatever. And then it's like over here-ish. Up there, maybe. Maybe not, actually. I think that's the exit, actually. <sighs> nope, still nothing good here. We're gonna just fight a lot. We're gonna end up. I might have to grind those, some of those off screen. Just. Yeah, there's where we want to go, though. Oh, here we go somewhere. Oh, is that? Yeah! Oh, more bookers. This way is the save the warp point. Save point, it is save point. Save station. Let's see if we were to warp back in here and the, the clam is closed. Oops. Might as well do this as well since on my list in this order is. There's the White Trinity in Agrabah. Dark chamber, I guess? Cause yeah, I think this is the only way, yeah, because we can't go into this place through the front entrance. Because there's a boss there, so we have to go in through this way. But I do need to get to the entrance. I don't know whether that's this way or not. I don't think it's this way. Bottomless hall. Don't fall, don't fall, okay. That looks entrancey. Wyverns, I need to fight Wyverns as well. Where the? There he is. Nope, still nothing, okay. Entrance. I don't remember we need to fight wizards still. No, I think wizards only drop the item for Donald, the weapon for Donald. Oh, we do need to kill these enemies to get to allow the white trinity to work, so. Yeah, of course there's more enemies. Trying to get behind you, please. Okay. More. There we go. If it belts.
Let's get out of here. I think if I go down, I'll probably just end up where I want to be. Ish. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's mark that off my list. Not much left to do here. Um, I could try to take on one of the secret bosses as well after we do this. The next thing I'm going to go do is in Hollow Bastion. This one, from my from what I read about it, sounds very annoying. I think this was the White Trinity at the beginning that we didn't get, so let's do that real quick. Because I think I just never came back to the entrance. Yep, there it is. Wow. Oh, I got an achievement, so I think I said maybe that was the last one? Yeah, Trinity's tr tr trinitized. Trin 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 Alright. So now I want to go to the entrance hall, which I assume is like the beginning of the like, library area. They appear in other areas, but it seemed like this was the easiest one to repeat over and over, so... No, oh, let's try to check what room we're in. Entrance hall, yes, okay. So I need to see a single large body and two wizards. That's too many. There we go. So, he's invisible. Okay, so... Cast stop, and then combo him. Nope. They are not... Oh, I'm, hitting, I'm using the wrong spell, aren't I? Yeah, there. No. Stop. There we go. And an energy stone, that's what we needed. Okay. Let's sleep. Well, I think the library might be the fastest way in and out of... Mm. I don't know, actually. Maybe out. I'm not sure in. Well, I guess because I'm coming at a different angle. But I think this might still end up being faster. Hi, Aerith. <laughs> cool. Apparently I just got a spam message. Thanks, robot. I probably just want to jump down here, because that would save a place I'll spawn, and then... Large body? No, two large bodies. So then I can go in and out this way, because it's closer to where. Nope. Apparently I have one energy zone already, so... Okay. I, I had, I mean, before I had one. I wrote, I wrote down in my notes that I had one. And we need six total, so that's four more. Video games always love to make me do math. I'm glad that Donald and Goofy have figured it out by now, or they're out of MP, one of the two. Wow. 
Wow. <sighs> I don't know, I'm trying to think of anything else to talk about, but... Just a lot of stress and anxiety going through my little brain. Been watching a lot more Arrowverse stuff lately, especially while I was dealing with my COVID boosters, so... It's becoming a lot more manageable to watch now that I'm into the later seasons, where like there's only three shows going, and then next season there'll be one show going, and that'll be it, and I'll be done. But there's been a few good episodes and storylines going on that I've really enjoyed. That woman season three especially has been really, really good, really fun. All right, I forgot to take my med with my dinner. Yeah, let's do that real quick. I'm just gonna sit here while I take the med. Hooray. Ha. Ooh, it went down the wrong pipe. Ooh, that, that. Drink more. Okay, I think I'm okay. Yeah, talking about what is making the season so good would be very hard without covering a ton of spo like multiple spoiler, very spoilery things. And like I know pe most people watching this probably don't care, aren't gonna watch it, but it feels like a lot to explain. Wow, this sucks. Just let there be one of you, please. Just one, one of you go away and like become a little invisible man. I really want to see that new Deadpool. To the point where like I almost thought about downloading a cam version of it, but then I said not to. But... Before I watch it, I'm going to end up re-watching like, all of the X-Men films and any other like films that are related to it. Like, I have a list. Someone who has seen the Deadpool movie has given me a list of what movies are relevant to it. So that'll be a fun to go through all of them like a week before I watch it. I never saw the Elektra film. Like, I saw Daredevil a long time ago, but that version of Elektra never... I, you know what? I don't actually like Elektra at all. Like even even in the Netflix show, I don't like her as a character. <laughs> I had to move my mic to cough, so if that made mic moving noises, I apologize. Um, yeah, the thing about Daredevil, and I, I've not read any comics, I've only seen the show, but Daredevil is at his best when he is being a lawyer and dealing with like criminals like Fisk. The problem is a whole lot of Daredevil lore is related to like the hand and ninjas and like Marvel just hasn't done Japanese characters in a culturally sensitive way at all. <laughs> to the point where it just feels like fake. Like it's it's completely unconvincing to someone who knows anything about Japan at all. And I'm I'm like an expert in Japan, it's and it still feels really fake to me. But And it, like Electra's feel really fits into that side of it, the like ninja side of things, because she's like a ninja, I guess. Oh my God, why are they? <laughs> but I should probably should read some some Daredevil comics, and like even some of the biggest stuff are very hand adjacent. This is incredible, this luck. 
But yeah, I've been putting together like a list of like what I should read and like asking different people for recommendations because I'm just gonna like try to read comics arbitrarily now and not try to stick to any reading order. But then I still keep getting to a point where like, should I read everything on my list in chronological order? Like, no, but, but what if I did? Like, what if I missed something? No, just read, just read, it's fine. Like, but I don't know. I'm still working through Secret Wars because I didn't have much time to read while I was dealing with the COVID booster. But I read a couple issues of it. My god, why? Did I look at one of the other locations that they're at? But I feel like it's just random, right? It's not... Why don't I leave and come back? Something I meant to look up is like during the events of Secret Wars, there's a like a new Spider Woman appeared, and like they're treating her like she's not the same Spider Woman. I don't even know like because Jessica Drew is a Spider Woman that I know, but I don't really know her all that well. So is this is this Jessica Drew, and I just didn't know that she becomes a new Spider Woman from now on, or because she's in the symbiote suit as well? And I also got to the cover, the issue that has the symbiote suit on the cover, but I, that's the one I haven't finished reading yet. So. I should look that up before I read further, so I just know who this Spider-Woman actually is. She said she's from Detroit. <laughs> That's all I know. The whole plot of Secret Wars has been kind of a weird mess. Like... Doctor Doom turned two women into supervillains, and one of them is Titania, who I associate as like the rival of She-Hulk, but apparently this is her first appearance, I guess, is in Secret Wars, where Doctor Doom just turned a random woman into her. And then the other woman has like a weird relationship going on with Molecule Man, who is like a I don't, I don't know what his history is, because all I know of him is from, from what I've read in Secret Wars, but basically he seems like he doesn't want to be a villain, and he has a therapist that he goes to, but also his powers are, ch like, he can literally change the molecules of things, and, like, basically he can do anything with that power. So he seems to be extremely powerful, but he doesn't want to be a villain, and Doctor Doom has to keep, like, tricking him into doing things for him. And then also... One of the, the the other woman that's not Titania that Doctor Doom turned into a villain has fallen in love with him, and it's like played off as like a, a a like big woman little man joke relationship, which is like kind of dumb, but like I would like that if it was done earnestly and not for laughs, but it's kind of done for laughs in like a not great way, but it's not it's not offensive, it's just. I feel like the writers are having a joke on him rather than analyzing this thing where like he clearly has mental issues like he's going to a therapist to resolve his desire for villainous tendencies but yeah the other weirdest thing about this comic is Galactus I kind of adore the way they're handing Galactus, where, like, he was called in along with all the other villains, and he just does, like... <sighs> like, in the early issues, he's not even acknowledging that anyone else is there, because, like, to him, they are, like, literally ants. Like, not just, like, figuratively ants, like, like you are beneath me. Like, it's more like he doesn't even notice they are making noise, because they are so quiet and, like, physically below him. To, like the efforts that, like, Mr. Fantastic has to go through to get his attention. And so, like, the big arc going on right now is, like, Galactus has summoned his home, his home world, which is, like, a big spaceship that's, like, bigger than the planet, and he's trying to convert Battleworld into a... something for him to eat. So, like, that's a big fear, is, like, are the villains and heroes gonna have to work together to stop Galactus, or... Well, everyone's still kind of fighting. I'm gonna try something else here. I wonder if I go back to the front entrance and come in that way, if that, like, if they 
Hmm. No, that doesn't make sense, but... Let me read about them real quick. Hang on. Okay. A stealth soldier. Yeah, try leaving the world via gummy ship and immediately returning. But no, they're not. There are other places that they appear, but... I don't know. I don't want to have to go through finding one if I don't have to. Let's try going back to the main entrance, though, and doing that. Because I definitely want to do as little of this off stream as possible. I just don't, like I don't have the energy or time for it, really. Oh no, it's gonna go to the other entrance. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just back out again. Ah. Uh. But yeah, I don't know. I'm enjoying reading it. Good, good comics. Good, good, good enough comics. I feel like there are, there are definitely better things to read. And yeah, I'm definitely in a position where, like, there are a lot of characters that I want to read about, but I don't really know where to start with them. Like, Daredevil would be one of those. Um, I feel like Jessica Jones is limited enough that I can read. Like, I think it starts off with Alias, and I think from there there's not much else to read. I'm not sure, but I should just start. I should read Alias. Um, I think reading everything with Gwenpool is pretty manageable. Um, and, like, that also let me read stuff on Champions, which are cool, because she's part of Champions, and... Yeah. I also think I'm going to go through, like, I tried to do this and I couldn't really match up a whole lot, but, like, going through Marvel Legendary and just seeing what schemes, like, what episodes each scheme is based on, or each episode, each, um, comic, each, each scheme is based on. But, like, some of the, some of the sets are just based on, like, one big storyline, which works, like, I can just, you know, read, there we go. Okay. Just, no. Stop. Oh, no, wrong button. You're, you're not the right target. Wait, oh, hang on. Where? Oh, there he is. Okay. No. Okay. I think he died. Okay, we're good. Let's just go back to this entrance again. <laughs> that seems to be working better for me. But yeah, I think it would be worthwhile to, like, read both, like, the classic stories, like, the, the big important stories, and then also... I hope this takes me... No, this didn't take me where I want to go. Um, and then focus on, like, the teams that are interesting, I guess. Wait, this is not the way. This is this, this literally does just take me back here, yeah. Um... But yeah, like, a lot of important sets are based on, like, teams. I think it's the hardest thing we'll probably be finding, like, relevant stories for villains that I want to learn about. But... I don't know. I think if I drop here, this might work. No. But if I take that elevator, it'll probably take me to the right spot. I guess because probably this elevator goes upward or something, or it's, like, horizontal. God damn it. Fuck it, I'll go through that. Nope, let's go to the elevator. Or the library. Elevator. Library. Yeah, I don't think it'll respawn until I leave. I also definitely need to figure out DC Comics, because I don't know as much about DC. And then, like, figuring out, like, how much I need to read before going into, like, any of the Spider-Verse stuff, like, I probably would like to read MC2. I, I've, like, MC2, I don't think, comes up in many places, but it's, like, a neat thing. It's basically, like, a 
in the 90s. It was an alternate timeline kind of thing where they said, like, what if all of the, like, what if all the Marvel comic stories took place when they happened? And then time kept going on. So now it's the 90s and, like, you know, Peter Parker grew up in the 60s and is now old. So now his daughter, Mayday Parker, becomes Spider-Woman. And then, like, they had, they, it, it basically literally came out of an issue of what if, and then they span it off into its own line of, like, other MC2 series. Marvel Comics 2, they literally called it. And that seems like it's a neat thing that would be worth looking into that's not, probably not too long. Here we go. I don't think he stopped. Did I lose him? There he is. There we go. Let's go ahead this way, though. Another thing that I'm iffy on reading is the, like, Ultimate Marvel line, because I did read that when I was younger, and... A lot of it is really not good, like, especially the, uh, the Ultimate Avengers, or they're called the Ultimates. Like, a lot of really unfortunate, like, trying-to-be-edgy stuff there that just doesn't work. But it also feels like it's relevant to, like, like there's a new Ultimate line going on right now that might be worth knowing about. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Not gonna be at the top of my priority list. Okay, so I'm looking for Energy Stones. Energy Stone 4. Alright, so two more. We're not... N not too hard. Sorry. Spaced out for a second. But yeah, I guess the train of thought I was having was, like, it seems like a lot of the, like, really important stories are a lot more modern. Where, like, I don't think reading all of the old comics is really actually going to help me understand all of that stuff. Because, like... Like, when it comes to, like, having a knowledge base of, like, what is what is relevant for, like, playing Marvel Legendary or, like, playing the LEGO Marvel games, it's knowing who the characters are and knowing what the stories that are being referenced are. And most of those stories that are being referenced are going to be modern stories. And, like, the ones that aren't are, like, the really big stories. Or, like, they are things that, like... Like, I don't, I don't need to read the like, the Clone Saga because I could just watch the Spider-Man the Animated Series and get most of that. Like, they covered the Clone Saga in, like, three episodes or something. Wait, that's not it. <laughs> that's not him. Wait, what am I... Oh, I wasn't targeting him. That's, that's the pot. You! No! Alright, I'm out of here. But yeah, I should also get around to eventually watching, like, X-Men the Animated Series, even, like, so that I can watch X-Men 97, but also, oh boy, all the stuff we've been hearing about, like, the guy in charge of that, and getting him getting fired, and, like, why is... a lot. Why can't people who are in creative roles just be a little bit normal?
Like, I feel like if I was... 20 years ago, I would have been pretty decent at, like, being a creative and, like, working on stories and stuff like that. N nowadays, not so much. I've, my brain is a bit too fried, but... Yeah. Oh. This is not the platform that goes up. This one is. I don't know what else. Think about the X-Men, like the... Like, the types of villains of the X-Men that interest me the most would be, like, Arcade. Like, I want to know more stories with Arcade. I mean, how could I not? His name is Arcade, even though he's not... He's not, it's not talking about video games, it's talking about, like, amusement park arcades, but... Still, his name's Arcade. I think I keep stopping this guy in a time where he's invulnerable, like, the last two times. There we go. I'm out of here. I actually can't think of any other X-Men villains that are, like... I mean, I know of other ones. It's just like, Mr. Sinister. I don't really care what his deal is. Who is? Who else is there? No, maybe that's the only one. That's the only two I know. All right, what are we doing now? We beat the stealth soldiers. We did, yeah, we did that. Uh, let's go see if we can synthesize anything from what we just made. And if not, then we pretty much just have like some bonus bosses to do. So I might, I don't want to start the next world today. So I think we're going to save that till next week. So I might end early if we, if it comes to it. But I think we should also try to hammer away at the Olympus Coliseum some more. Okay, so we still need Power Crystals and Bright Crystals, I think, are things we get. Oh no, Power Crystals from Wyverns. Bright Crystal is... I don't know. Let's find out. Let's... This is, the word, this is the use of our time, because we're not doing anything else important today. Right, Crystal. It's from Defenders. Okay. I really don't want to farm those right now, but we're going to do Power Crystal again. Gale, which is something, something in the final world. Stormy Stone. That's something in the final world. Yeah, no, we can't make shit. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to head to the final world sooner than later. Alright, so let's go see if we can beat the first secret boss in Olympus Coliseum, which I have recommended level 65, so we're, we're pretty past that. I think we should be okay. And it says I want to have a Leaf Bracer equipped, so let's make sure that is equipped. Yep, it is. And it also says Never Cast Arrow. And also Guard. Okay. I don't know if Donald and Goofy are with me for this one, but if they are, I probably want Leaf Bracer on Donald. Okay. Uh... So let's get rid of Arrow. Yeah. 
Let's fight question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Thunder, rain, and lightning. I don't think Donald and Goofy are here, but look who is. It's Santa Claus. Ice Titan. Okay, so I'm supposed to guard those back somehow. Okay, I'm supposed to dodge those probably. This sucks. This is a, this is a test match, so I can learn. Yeah, Tech 100, yay. Okay, let's read the whole page on him, actually. Ice Titty. Titan. Tit tit okay. Okay, I don't want Mega Elixirs, because that's the whole party. Three MP is not very much. That's probably okay. Uh, I mean, locked on the ice side and, and those camera will prove unwieldy. Effective way to damage to lock on and guard against incoming icicles is because on a fly back to some damage. You can dodge or you jump or dodge roll to avoid the ice spikes and icicle patterns that are more difficult to deflect. It says, do not cast arrow. This will cause the ice titan to send more powerful icicles that cannot be blocked for as long as the spell is active. Okay. I suppose I glide. Arrows don't hit you, but uh on the arena steps. When a fight circles and strike its head, it will stagger and fall to the ground. You summon and land as many hits as the Keyblade. Also, I should have a better Keyblade equipped, actually. That's probably a big problem. Um, and damn, also uh, reduce ice damage by 40, it seems good. Wait. Okay, no. I don't need some of my abilities equipped. Mm, yeah, I don't think Gravity Break is doing anything for me here. Oh, wait, these things... Wait, there are more... There are things that we strength more. Or does this thing lower strength, but I didn't realize it. Yeah, that seems good. Look at how my, my MP bar is shriveled. Hopefully that's enough curing, but... I am not good at the timing on this. Oh, okay, I did damage to him. Now that's something. Oop. Okay. So you do that and then... Yeah, okay, I'm getting this. So when he does a big swipe, he's not actually throwing anything at me until, uh, yeah. Like, they are very slow moving projectiles, so the swiping is not anything. That was bad timing? That was bad timing?
how do I? Hmm. Like, some of them hit me no matter what. Even though I reflect some of them. Like, can I guard multiple times? No. Or maybe that's what it meant. Like, it said, like, some of them are just harder to dodge. So, like, to ro roll through them rather than try to guard them. Okay, cool. I did it. Oh, I forgot the attack button. Okay, this is doable. That's a lot of ice. Ah! Nope, too late. Okay. Ah, that was too close. I'm gonna try to dodge that one. Oh, I saw the ice? I dodged by accident. Imagine going into this without guard. Like, what do you even do? Reflect in the air, which is really discouraging me from gliding. <laughs> what if I just stayed up here? Because it seems like the those attacks can't get me while I'm up here. There we go. Oh, wrong button. Just hitting the dodge button again. No, don't get up. Okay, that attack can hit me here, though. That can't, though. So that's, that's something. Okay, apparently the ice can't get up here. Yeah, I'm, I have no depth perception, apparently. That healed me a lot more than I thought it would. Like, I would have saved it if, if, if I thought it would full heal me. Okay.
Uh, no, bad timing. I don't know what he's shooting at over there. There we go, that's some good hits. That's gonna... no? Okay. With Sora being invisible, I can't tell what's going on as well. I don't really feel in danger though, like I seem to have plenty of health and stuff, so it's in, like, nothing is like one-shotting me or anything. But just kind of an endurance trial. Oop. Nope, too early. Now, nope. Yeah, I feel like I need to be hitting it earlier so that I can try to get the second wave of them, but... Oh, right. I keep forgetting when he does the charge of hand, he's gonna do that. Head out of the way. Yeah, it's not great. Oh, he's almost dead. Cool. There we go. Easy. Now we're for phase two. Oh. Yeah, break a leg, Ice Titan. Wow, that's... Okay, well, that's a little, little way lower strength. Okay, but... Okay. Uh... Well, for Sephiroth, I have level 75 written down, and we are level 75. So... Huh. We could try Sephiroth. Let me look him up real quick. Also says I should equip stuff that is lowers darkness, obviously. So... Fire, ice, lightning. Fire, ice, lightning. Dark.
I don't have much. Yeah, the lower is dark. Okay. Ah. <sighs> um. Dodge roll and glide. Elixirs. Strike grade ability. Huh. Strike grade. And a leaf bracer, of course. Arrow and cure. Boost MP. Okay, and this will just really reduce defense in general, or increase defense in general. That probably is going to be the best one I have, but yeah. Okay. And it doesn't look like Don uh, Donald Gavir with me for this one, so... Uh... Oh, also don't equip any combo extenders. Okay, that's that will free up some of our slots then. So let's get rid of combo plus. I don't think I ever had or combo plus, but I don't know. Yeah, okay. And so strike raid. Oh, still can't afford strike rate, so let's get rid of... Hmm, I might want, still want to keep that. No, we don't need that, okay. It might be a place to try diamond dust, but Cause, like how much more is diamond dust than ultimate weapon? Oh, I don't have ultimate weapon. Never mind. I was thinking of what was I thinking of? Oathkeeper, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so I do want arrow for this. High deflection keychain equipped. You can use guard to deflect some. Of those. So wouldn't I want that rather than diamond dust? Yeah, I'm gonna stick with oblivion actually. This seems like a lot though. Let's see what happens. So I feel like I won't understand most of what I'm reading until I experience it. So is it going to be the Sephiroth song or the NSYNC song? Okay, Sephiroth song. Where the hell am I? Oh, time to kill this kid, I guess. That's how Sephiroth talks. Ah, okay. He 
Is he Alucard? This is really working very well for me. deflect his attacks at all. Not really, not in any way that matters. It does seem like if I had more a longer combo it would help, but maybe this is not how I'm supposed to be fighting him. Being in the air helps a lot with dodging him, but not by much. Because then he just alicards me. Yeah. Oh, I should have cast arrow myself, probably. That's what I forgot to do, I think. You know what? This certainly wouldn't be the worst time to use an elixir. No, never mind, it is. Okay, so now that I have that kind of in mind. Okay, approaching the guard is not advised. I got an arrow at the start of the match. So I put this arrow, so I can then dodge roll, use high jump to win. Yeah, okay, and then strike with a clean arrow combo. Okay, that's basically what I was doing. So if I retaliate for taking damage, if you assert his a combo finisher, he will then retaliate if taking four additional hits instead of phase one. Wait, what? So if I retaliate after receiving damage, four consecutive non finisher hits. So if your third hit is a finisher, four additional hits instead. I tell you, using horizontal slash, blah blah blah, blah. do not your best dodge, roll, safety, do it. No, use strike rate to avoid. Yeah, I don't think strike rate does make sense, I don't have much MP. If you find yourself in the middle of his pillars of fire attack, you can strike Severus Segrim or cast Cure near the end of the attack. Okay. Yeah, strike rate does not seem like a good plan because I don't have the MP for it. See how you can avoid that exactly. Okay, well, I managed to dodge that. Well, yes, cure, but also arrow. And I'm out of MP. I wasn't locked onto him, I thought I was, but camera yeah, was. Did I just accidentally cure twice? I think I did. Cool. Good job, Sora. Yeah, this, this seems to be going a lot worse.
Yeah, not feeling this one. I should level up a lot more and come back for this, I think. Then what does that really leave with what to do? I could call it here, I guess. Getting tired anyway. There's one other final... Well, there's two more secret bosses, but one more that I can actually fight right now. Um... Yeah, everything else is just grinding for Dark Balls and Wyverns, which I don't really want to do right now. And I could probably... Hopefully they appear in the end of the world, so the final world. Yeah, let's call it here. Yeah, looking over my list again, but yeah. <laughs> Next time, let's head into the end of the world. How about that? re-equip all my items and stuff, but we'll do that next time. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. It's kind of a rough one, but it's all good. Join us next week. We'll maybe beat Metroid Prime? Pro we'll probably beat Metroid Prime. And we'll head into the end of the world in Kingdom Hearts. So yeah, thanks for, thanks for hanging out, everyone. Have a good night. Yeah, hope things look up, look well up for you as well. Up, nothing much. What's up? Look with you.